Hi, my name is Matt Kerr, and I'm the Entertainment Market Manager here at ETC. Today I am delighted to give you a brief introduction to the Color Source consoles. Whether you're doing small ballroom corporate events or school performances in the cafeteria, the Color Source consoles, hands on operation and plug and play setup will make your small production a breeze. The consoles come in four models the Color Source 20, the Color Source 40, the Color Source 20 AV, and finally, the Color Source 40 AV. The design is sleek and clean without a bunch of intimidating buttons or control wheels. This makes the consoles approachable for users of all levels. All four models feature four configurable sliders at the top, a 7-inch color multi-touch touchscreen, and six soft keys, five of which can be populated based on your needs. Additionally, each model has a bank of sliders to the left, which can act as channel controls or as playbacks. The quantity of sliders varies depending on the model. The software is designed to make effective use of the repaintable touchscreen. We put commonly used functions like setting color and recording cues in easy to find locations, making the console simple to operate while providing the ability for users to grow with more advanced features like parameter effects and sequence rate kept under the surface. And don't worry, if you get stuck, the onboard help system with tutorial videos will see you through. As I stated earlier, setup with this console is a snap. From a blank slate, the console discovers any RDM-capable fixtures connected to it. Once discovered, the fixtures populate and patch, and you can either enter the numbers manually or simply use the bump button under the desired slider to assign them to channels. You're up and running before you know it. Another way that we're trying to keep it simple for permanent installations is the ability to have a default show. This means anytime you start a new show, the console reverts to the patch and recordings that were set up by the technician at the time of turn on. You can also rearrange how the channel tiles are displayed on the screen to mimic how they are laid out in the room. Once you have them placed where you like, you can use the quick select feature to bring up groups based on the locations of the channel tiles. This is another of many new concepts that the color source consoles bring to the market. Now let's take a closer look at the differences between the different models. Both the color source 20 and the color source 40 models have one DMX port and one USB port. The number 20 in the color source name represents the number of faders to the left of the touchscreen. These faders control two pages of channels for a total of 40. Channels can either be a single dimmer or a moving light with many parameters. Similarly, the color source 40 console has 40 sliders which can control 80 channels across two pages. You can place the faders in playback mode, which allows you to store a complete look or portions of a look to a slider. Using playbacks is a great way to adjust to on-the-fly changes or to just have fun. Each model allows for 10 pages of playbacks. That means the Color Source 20 has a total of 200 playbacks, whereas with the Color Source 40, you would naturally get 400. Now it's time to really shake things up and talk about the AV models of the Color Source consoles. The Color Source 20 AV and the Color Source 40 AV share all of the features we've already discussed. However, there is so much more. Just like the Color Source 20, the Color Source 20 AV allows for a total of 40 channels of control and 200 playbacks. Similarly, the Color Source 40 AV allows for 80 channels and 400 playbacks. The back panels for both the Color Source 20 AV and the Color Source 40 AV have two DMX ports two USB ports, one HDMI port for external monitor or video effects playback, an Ethernet port for connecting to networked lighting systems and remote control options, and finally, 3.5 millimeter audio input and output ports for sound to light and sound effects. So as the AV name suggests, there are audio and visual components to these little desks. Let's spend a little time with each of the three major areas of AV features, audio, image playback, and the interactive video toy. First, audio. The Color Source console has a collection of onboard sound effects which can be recorded into either playbacks or cues. This way, you can have your lightning flash and thunderclap, your TV flicker along with broadcast audio, or a very simple doorbell cue, all from the same system and triggered off of one button press or fader move. 
Also, if you need a break or you need to refill your beverage, you can step away from the console and let the onboard sound alight functions take over for a while. Second is image playback. The HDMI port can be connected to a video projector to show images. These images can be recorded into playbacks or cues and can be used to create a setting, flash a company logo between speeches, or display song information. There's also an option to use the video output as an external monitor. And finally, the groundbreaking video toy feature. This unique feature allows a user to create video effects on the fly by simply touching and moving your fingers around on the 7-inch touchscreen. Video toy is just as incredibly fun at dance parties as it is when projecting patterns onto band shells during choir performances. One last really cool feature of the ColorSource AV consoles is the Amigo Networked Remote. Amigo is browser-based and platform-independent. Either connect a computer to the network or use a wireless access point with a smartphone or tablet and you'll have control. We even added a QR code to make the connection easier. Together with color source fixtures and color source relays, color source consoles are helping to redefine the way small systems are designed. Thank you for your attention. For more information, please visit etcconnect.com.